we're at the back of what was the 1820s stable block. It had a ground floor divided into the place where they kept the horse and on the other side where they would have kept the coach and it was in a rather wonky state. Probably from the late 60s to early 70s I was coming down this road. I knew, I knew it quite well and so I've seen the changes and therefore keeping the history of the mews was very important. Its elevation walls either side led concurrently, contiguously into the elevation walls of the old house at the front. We had very tight restrictions in terms of the access. Getting lorries and trucks here was difficult, so the constraints were the size of the site. The clients initially had designed the space to be an artist's studio. This all changed when they decided they would rather rent the building and wait for their children to grow up in the house behind us, but the flexibility has to be there. The concept of the build primarily was to provide the insulation and the airtight layer on the SIPS panel. That is why SIPS were chosen, because we can actually create a, a very airtight box using SIPS and also we can, it doesn't have to be so thick. You're struck by the constant ambience of temperature which doesn't have the fluctuations that you will find in an older house. The thing that I think is amazing with this house is we started the build from foundations in February and it was occupied in November. So we're talking a very fast track build. 